Did you know there are six recognized subspecies of tigers in the world? Fascinating, isn't it? These majestic creatures, each with their unique characteristics, roam the diverse landscapes of our planet. From the dense jungles of the Indian subcontinent to the icy realms of the Russian Far East, each subspecies has adapted brilliantly to its environment, playing a crucial role in maintaining the balance of their respective ecosystems. The first of these subspecies is the Bengal tiger, primarily found in the Indian subcontinent. This includes countries like India, Bangladesh, Bhutan and Nepal. Known for their striking orange coats and bold black stripes, Bengal tigers are a symbol of strength and majesty in many cultures. Next, we journey to Southeast Asia, home to the Indochinese tiger. These tigers inhabit parts of Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam and Myanmar, marking their territory amidst the tropical rainforests and highland areas. On the southern part of the Malay Peninsula, we find the Malayan tiger. Native to Malaysia and parts of Thailand, this subspecies is recognized for its smaller size and darker fur. Moving towards the colder climates of the Russian Far East and Northeastern China, we encounter the Siberian tiger. Also known as the Amur tiger, this is the largest tiger subspecies adapted to survive in harsh snowy landscapes. Sadly, we must also mention the South China tiger, critically endangered and possibly functionally extinct in the wild. Historically, these tigers roamed the forests of southern China, but their numbers have dwindled due to human activities. Last, but certainly not least, is the Sumatran tiger. Inhabiting the Indonesian island of Sumatra, this is the smallest of the tiger subspecies. But don't let their size fool you. These tigers are as fierce and agile as their larger counterparts. Each of these subspecies, with their unique traits and habitats, contribute significantly to the rich tapestry of our global biodiversity. They are not just symbols of raw power and grace, but also vital links in the complex web of life. Let's delve deeper into each of these magnificent subspecies. First off, let's travel to the Indian subcontinent, the home of the Bengal tiger. Standing as the most populous of the tiger subspecies, the Bengal tiger roars its presence across India, Bangladesh, Bhutan and Nepal. Characterized by a vibrant orange coat and black stripes, each pattern unique as a fingerprint, it is a sight of pure magnificence. The Bengal tiger plays a critical role in its ecosystem, reigning as the top predator and maintaining the balance in the food chain. It thrives in a variety of habitats, from the lush mangroves of the Sundarbans to the arid forests of Rajasthan. Despite its adaptability, the Bengal tiger is classified as endangered, with habitat loss and poaching posing significant threats. In the rich tapestry of Indian culture, the Bengal tiger is revered, symbolizing strength, courage and power. It's not just a creature of the wild, but an integral part of the region's identity. Truly, the Bengal tiger is a symbol of strength and power in the Indian subcontinent. Next, we find ourselves in the lush landscapes of Southeast Asia, where the Indo-Chinese and Malayan tigers roam. Home to a rich biodiversity, Southeast Asia is the realm of the Indo-Chinese tiger, inhabiting Thailand, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam. This subspecies is distinctive for its narrow stripes, providing a perfect camouflage in the dense forests. A bit further south, we encounter the Malayan tiger, native to the southern part of the Malay Peninsula. Slightly smaller than its Indo-Chinese cousin, the Malayan tiger is nonetheless a formidable predator, commanding its territory with unmatched prowess. Sadly, both these majestic creatures face threats from habitat loss and poaching. The Indo-Chinese tiger is classified as endangered, with its population shrinking alarmingly. The Malayan tiger too is critically endangered, with fewer than 200 remaining in the wild. The Indo-Chinese and Malayan tigers, each in their own way, add unique hues to the biodiversity of Southeast Asia. Their survival is a testament to the resilience of nature and the importance of conservation efforts. Now, let's journey to the chilling terrains of the Russian Far East and Northeastern China, the realm of the largest tiger subspecies, the Siberian tiger. Known also as the Amur tiger, this magnificent beast is the true giant of the Far East. 
With males weighing up to 600 pounds and measuring nearly 10 feet in length, they are the heaviest cats living on Earth. The Siberian tiger's massive size is an adaptation to their habitat, allowing them to tackle large prey in the harsh Siberian wilderness. Their thick, dense fur shields them from the biting cold, while their large, powerful paws give them the grip they need on the snow-covered landscape. However, despite their strength and size, these majestic creatures are vulnerable. With fewer than 500 individuals left in the wild, they are a potent symbol of the threats faced by wildlife in our modern world. The Siberian tiger, a symbol of endurance and resilience, truly owns the harsh terrains of the Far East. Our journey takes us to southern China, where we find the critically endangered South China tiger. In the dense forests and rocky terrains, the South China tiger, scientific name Panthera tigris amoyensis, once roamed freely. This remarkable creature is known for its distinct stripes, a unique fingerprint. No two tigers share the same pattern. A medium-sized tiger, it is smaller than its Siberian cousin, but larger than the Sumatran tiger. Historically, the South China tiger was found across a vast expanse of southern China. It was once a symbol of bravery and a staple in Chinese folklore and culture. But today, it is a ghost of its former glory, teetering on the brink of extinction. The relentless hunting and habitat destruction of the past century have taken a devastating toll. Today, it is critically endangered and possibly functionally extinct in the wild. The last confirmed sighting in the wild was over two decades ago. But it's not all doom and gloom. There is hope. Conservationists, both in China and globally, are making relentless efforts to save this magnificent creature. Breeding programs in captivity are underway with the hope of reintroducing these magnificent beasts back into the wild. Strict laws have been imposed to prevent hunting and habitat destruction. Conservation areas have been established providing a safe haven for these tigers to flourish. Despite these efforts, the road to recovery is steep. The survival of the South China tiger is a race against time, a battle against the odds. But it is a battle worth fighting. For in saving the South China tiger, we are not just preserving a species. We are safeguarding a symbol of our planet's rich biodiversity, a beacon of the wild that has been lost to us. The tale of the South China tiger is one of survival and resilience, a testament to the urgent need for conservation efforts. Finally, let's visit the Indonesian island of Sumatra, home to the smallest tiger subspecies, the Sumatran tiger. Don't be fooled by its size, though. While it may be the smallest among its kin, the Sumatran tiger is a creature of exceptional strength and agility. This tiger is uniquely adapted to the dense lowland and mountain forests of Sumatra. Its compact size allows it to navigate the complex terrain with ease, and its fur, a deep orange with narrower stripes, provides the perfect camouflage. The Sumatran tiger's size, compared to other tiger subspecies, is a clear case of island dwarfism, an evolutionary response to limited resources and smaller prey. However, this in no way diminishes its prowess. It remains a formidable predator, ruling its territory with unmatched ferocity. Currently, the Sumatran tiger is critically endangered, with fewer than 400 thought to be left in the wild. Despite its size, the Sumatran tiger stands tall as a symbol of strength and agility on the island of Sumatra. Our journey through the world of tigers takes us across continents, revealing the rich diversity and uniqueness of each subspecies. From the Royal Bengal tigers prowling the Indian subcontinent to the critically endangered South China tigers, each subspecies tells a unique tale of survival and struggle. The Bengal tigers, known for their majestic beauty and power, are an integral part of the ecosystem, controlling the population of wild ungulates in their habitat. Their presence is a sign of a healthy and balanced environment. The Indochinese tigers, native to Southeast Asia, are also an important part of the ecological balance. However, their existence is threatened by habitat loss and illegal wildlife trade. The Malayan tigers, found in the southern parts of the Malay Peninsula, are facing the threat of poaching for their body parts and loss of prey due to habitat degradation. The largest of all the Siberian tigers, also known as the Amur tigers, stand as a symbol of wilderness in the Russian Far East and Northeastern China. 
but they are on the brink of extinction due to poaching and habitat loss. The South China tigers, possibly functionally extinct in the wild, serve as a stark reminder of the need for urgent conservation efforts. The Sumatran tigers, the smallest yet fierce subspecies, are battling against deforestation and poaching on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. Conservation efforts for these magnificent creatures are of utmost importance. The loss of these apex predators would not only mean the loss of a species, but also a significant disruption to the ecosystems they inhabit. Conservation efforts are not just about saving tigers, they're about preserving biodiversity and maintaining the health of our planet. From anti-poaching patrols and habitat protection to community education and engagement, there are various ways in which we can all contribute to these conservation efforts. As we have journeyed through the world of tigers, we've seen how each subspecies plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of nature. The survival of these majestic creatures is in our hands. Let's ensure that their roars continue to echo across the globe.